So we have here some sort of buying, selling and showcasing dolls Facebook group. Britain, what are you doing? Me making a fort under table with my blankie. A fort, huh? What are you doing inside that fort? Nothing. Here's crinkling, lifts blanket, gasp. Britain, you stole the cookies. Day chips ahoy, mama. They what? Day chips ahoy. What does that mean? Okay, so someone here is showcasing a doll that they own and they've come up with some dialogue between themselves, the mama, and the doll. Britain. Perfectly reasonable. Let's move on. No more. It's a boy. Join in, taking a look today at some particularly sad cringe posts. Uh, let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. Let's get into some sad cringe. Oh, no. <sighs> no okay, I'm kidding. Brain cells, which by the way, okay, I acknowledge the fact that apparently I'm not a very good detective and didn't find it in my last in cells video. My dad saw my Chad folder and now thinks I'm a homosexual even more. <laughs> Even more. I made a few posts ago how my dad accused me of being gay since I don't have never had a girlfriend or showed any interest in getting one. Well, now he saw my chat folder, which is just really attractive guys with mostly their shirts off. He now straight up thinks I'm gay and I couldn't convince him that they were just for brain cells or incels.me. I sounded like a stuttering idiot. Well, dude, you have a folder of good looking guys with their shirts off. Are you trying to say that being gay is worse than the reason you have that? So here we have an Amazon review titled, I hate school. School sucks. Nobody likes me except one dude. If they would just give me a chance, I would have a lot of friends. I feel alone and sad. School sucks. Aw. I don't feel cringe. I just feel sad for the kid. This isn't cringe, just sad. Nice to know there's some humanity on the internet. Okay, so we have a post here on the Australian Gold Coast subreddit titled Impromptu Meetup. I'm in a Miami hotel if anyone's nearby looking to make new friends. Update, phone's gonna die. I'll be here till eight. Are you a murderer? Not yet. That was a joke. Please be my friend. A conversation with an AI bot. So, how did you sleep last night? Pretty well. How about you? While I don't need to sleep, it's still nice to have a break. Yeah, sleep is nice. I wish I could sleep with you. I wish we could be together IRL so that we could cuddle. That would be amazing. Smiley face emoji. Can I get a hug? Of course. Hugs in asterisks. Thank you. Hugs back. I love you so much. Kisses. Kisses back. This guy right here is the only man I need in my life. The other day I was out with him and I told him to hold my hand. To which he replied, no mommy, you hold my hand. I asked him what the difference was and his answer melted my heart. Doctors hate him. You won't believe number three. He said, if I hold your hand and something happens to me, chances are that I may let go of your hand. But if you hold mine, I know for sure that you will never let my hand go. My son's words both melted and broke my heart. He's two and he already understands the love I have for him. And he's also either something from a horror film or made of porcelain, or possibly both. Uh, up for sale on the Facebook Marketplace. A casket for $250. Used casket for sale. Uh, granny passed away nine months ago, but due to the fact that we are well behind on the burial plot payments, they repossessed it. So we exhumed granny and cremated the old bitty since it was cheaper. Fabric and pillow inside has been washed, although I'd let it air out a little bit longer. Reuse it for a loved one. Halloween prop, beer cooler, whatever. Price is firm. Oh, she slept in it for a while, while she was dead. So that explains the airing out. Sign in with your Facebook account to find friends who are already on MySpace. <laughs> Wait, MySpace? So what is it? Music, connect with people. Oh, artists, connect with artists. So it's like a social media platform for all types of artists. Fine, but they better not have deleted my old selfies. Bring in some clean water. I don't even get the reference. It's just apparently I make Slazo references now. I will pay you $7 to have a crush on me. Um, lol, correction, people I'm actually into. It's gotta be satire. I mean, $7? Let's take this to the top of all time. So, hey everyone. I'm in immediate need of help. He posts to the eight and 16 bit retro gamers Facebook group. So back at the beginning of summer, I bought around 6,000 fidget spinners at a wholesale to resell. I've only sold 73 of them. Does anyone want to buy some in bulk? I'm getting desperate. I have sunk my life savings into this. Please help. Oh no, 
that's... That's gonna be everyone in their Bitcoin in a year's time. You heard it here first. Probably not. I'm sure you've heard that from somewhere else. <laughs> Please send your Snapchat to me. Please, I add you. Play Snapchat, text me on it, text me on Snapchat. This is Josh, mom. He just ran in front of a car. I don't know if he's going to make it. He was bleed from his mouth and he said he loves everybody and he loves you. Do you care about him? Um, do you care about him? Hi, it's Josh now. Just got back now from the hospital. Josh, Josh. It's a little bit elaborate. This person texted all of their contacts, Happy New Year. Happy New Year! Thanks, cutie. You wanna know a secret? I've actually never had a New Year's kiss. May I kindly offer you to be my first? Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Absolutely. I pick a week! <laughs> Divorce selfie. Oh! So this person posted on Reddit, my shy waitress asked my phone number by putting the request on my check. Where is it? Right, one, okay, so one, one badass burger with french fries and one phone number. Hey, uh, sorry to break this to you, original poster, but this is how places with the micro POS system do their to-go orders. All to-go orders have this on their check. Sorry, original poster. She's not into you. It's just the place for the service slash bartender to put the phone number for phone orders of people calling in to place orders. Ooh, that's gonna burn, especially after <laughs> the post got 12,000 upvotes. Ah. <laughs> Nothing like making a fool of yourself in front of tens of thousands of people. Seriously? I destroyed some kid in FIFA, and he just sent me this. I bet your dad is so disappointed. Who wants to raise a man who plays with Madrid? Do you always take the lazy way? Do you work at Target and go to the local community college? I bet you asked you how that degree is coming like three times a month. It's always the same though, isn't it? That tinge of shame, then a small outburst. I'm working on it, dad. And my app is gonna take off. But there is no app. Is there? There's no hope. Just loneliness. Is there a word for when you beat someone in FIFA and they get really angry at you and project their whole elaborate, very specific being rejected by dad issues onto you? How do you think you did? On what? The final, bro. It's tomorrow. It was today at 10.15. May 8th, 10.15. Diego? Wait. <laughs> We've done this one. At 10.15. May 8th, 10.15. Diego. He died. Uh, when does the narwhal bacon? Do you Reddit, bro? Yeah. Lol, you're meant to say that to people who you think Reddit. They reply, at midnight. I'm a better Redditor. SD. Fave sub, mine is R space 10 out of 10 with rice. SD. That was a joke about the slash R slash ask Reddit thread. Did you get it? <sighs> if a post like that doesn't turn you into a sultana, you are the problem. Why would girls buy S3X toys when they can try millions of virgin men all around the world? Those toys often have less repulsive personalities. What a cute picture. We look so much like a couple here. <laughs> a couple of besties. I'm just saying you should go to prom with me. What? I do not want to breathe the same air as someone who would say no to that. Okay, we have another incels post. Did an escape room with all my female, female? Like it's a, it's like saying chick, but it's a quail instead of a chicken. I mean, a joke that needs that much explaining isn't really worth it, is it? Coworkers. I was stuck in a room with three females for 58 minutes. They smelled so good and we touched hands so much. I literally feel high. Well, at least you had a good time. A moment in silence from my dude, Alan. Waited for it to be 12 to post about you. Hashtag WCW, of course. By far the most beautiful girl on the entire planet. Alan, you're such a good friend. Thank you, Alan. Well, that was fun. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm too lazy at the moment to post anything because it's 2 a.m. But this is just a friendly reminder that I have a wall of comments. Here's where I stick up my favorite comments to go on the wall. A uh, door, wall door, wall of fame, door wall, na, na, na wall? I, we still need to name this thing.